Hi everyone, I just wanted to uh, post a video about something that I'm very passionate about. Um, I just had to get this out of my soul today. And I just hope that whatever I say can really touch your life and bless you as it has blessed me. Because I know that this is something that I'm very, very into. Um, first of all, I just wanted to share an experience that leads into what I'm going to talk about. In 2013 of the summer, starting about May, I went and sold direct TV in Missouri. And I can't remember if I saw much of it before this point, but I, I'm sure I've encountered it here and there. But every time I would go to Walmart um, in Missouri, I kept seeing this Bible series, and I was wondering, what is this? It seems really intriguing. It looks really good. And then I saw the CD. The CD came out, and uh, it said it was by Hans Zimmer, and I was just like, what is this? This looks really cool. And I've always been a fan of um, movie soundtracks, and I've loved ha uh, Hans Zimmer. But I just got really curious, and I look back now in my life, and I see that the Holy Spirit has guided me. It has prompted me to want to be interested in this, because I can now see all the blessings. But um, basically, I go to uh, my... For, I can't remember which hotel, but I'm going into my hotel. I bought it. I'm so excited to watch it. I remember I spent a Sunday watching it. It's a 10-hour series, and it's just really impressive, really well done. And this is what it looks like, in case you're wondering. Let me take off the slip cover. This is what it looks like. Um, it has Roma Downey, if you recognize her. She's from Touched by an Angel. Um, this is Diogo Morgado, and he plays the Savior. And I felt like when I first watched it, he actually felt like Christ. I've never seen a movie or a series or anything like that. It actually feels like the actor is Christ. And this is the first time I've actually felt a connection where it really impacted me. It made me feel like he was with me. He felt like he was very real and just really neat. It has Abraham and it has uh, the story of um, Moses and there's Pilate, Pontius Pilate. And then there's uh, Eve after she's taken of the fruit. Um, and then down there is Mary and Joseph. It's just really neat. I just encourage anyone to go see it. It has um, four discs and it's about uh, 10 episodes. And it's just amazing. It's really impacted my life. And then, so I, I remember I watched it with my, with my roommate, who was my roommate in Missouri. And I just really got into it. I couldn't stop watching the series. And when it gets to the part of Christ, it is just amazing. Well, they filmed it out in Morocco. This uh, series came out on the History Channel. And it actually um, was supposed to fail according to a lot of critics. They were up against Walking Dead, up against, uh, I believe, Game of Thrones, but I'm not sure. But um, I know for Walking Dead for sure, because um, Roma Downey, who is the producer with her husband, Mark Burnett, um, they saw a headline that said, God beat zombies, and that's Roma's favorite. And uh, I just, it just, it's so exciting to see how when a, a Bible series can beat that, you just know God was behind it. And actually how it started was Roma Downey was prompted by the Holy Ghost to uh, promote this series, and she knew that a lot of people learn visually, a, a lot of teenagers learn visually, and so she just whispered over to Mark and said, hey, we need to get this on TV for people, this would be great to do a whole series, and he said, well, let's pray about it, are you sure you want to do this? So they prayed about it together, and then they shook hands and they never looked back, and it's been a big blessing to a lot of Americans. Over a hundred million Americans watched it in 2013 on the History Channel. That is amazing. Then after all that success, Roma said while they were f shooting the footage out in Morocco, this Jesus narrative is just unfolding so beautifully. We need to make it an epic movie so you can see it on the big screen. And so Mark was like, okay, let's do that. So they saved footage and they came out with Son of God. And Son of God is my favorite movie. I I can't think of a better movie about Christ. It's perfect for Easter. It's perfect for Christmas. I try to give it out as gifts during the holiday times. And it, Diogo Morgado is seriously the perfect Christ, in my opinion. I feel like he did the best job. He's so tender. He's so loving. It shows him waving to kids. It shows him getting down and making kids smile and touching their chin. It shows them waving at him. He's waving back. Um, he hugs Peter, and he touches his face, and he makes him feel very important. And you just feel that love. Um, I don't feel like it's common to see an actor to portray Christ and to actually feel love. When you watch this, you really feel it. And it really got into my soul, and I love it with all my heart. And 
Roman Downey has been someone that I've always loved ever since I was a kid. I would watch Touched by an Angel, and I have the whole series now. Um, Touched by an Angel is my favorite series, I would say. These are my other two favorites. And then, because of all the success with the Bible series and Son of God, it allowed Roma Downey and Mark Burnett to continue the sequel as a uh, AD, it's called AD The Bible Continues. And where this goes, I, I failed to mention that um, the Bible goes from Genesis to Revelation. I just assume that when you hear the Bible, you just know that's what it does. But um, this continues on, it starts with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, and I just love that picture of uh, Juan Pablo de Pache, and there's uh, Peter, and it's just an amazing series. I actually like this Pontius Pilate a lot better because he's very aggressive, very brutal, and he almost comes across as he's like a monster, and I kind of like how he's so um, vicious because he's supposed to be ruling Rome and keeping it in line, and I feel, feel like they portray him very well. But back to but um, Juan Pablo de Pache, the reason why they changed the cast was because um, Diogo Morgado Mar was not available, so they wanted to not confuse everyone. So they decided to change um, the whole cast, because I think a, a lot of other people are, people were not available. And then they thought it would be a perfect idea to make it so all race is included. So you see a black guy as um, John, you see a black woman as Mary Magdalene, and you see all different races and cultures, and so I think that's great to involve everyone like that. But A.D. starts with the crucifixion of Christ, and it goes through um, the early Christian church, and it shows how a small group of Christian followers of Christ, the apostles, how it impacted the world so much that it overtook Rome, and it turned into, like, how many millions of Christians there are in the world now. So I think that's an amazing story. And what I really like about it is it doesn't skip stories in the book of Acts, and it actually encourages people to want to study the book of Acts. Because I know when I saw it, I got so excited that I just wanted to... Um, it's just like the words on the pages came to life. I saw Stephen. I saw Philip. I didn't know who Barnabas is. But now when I read Barnabas in the New Testament, I picture the face. And I know that this is not supposed to be like super accurate about who, um, what they dressed like, what they acted like. It's just to give you an idea. And I just, I, one of my favorite parts in the story is Cornelius. Cornelius is a, a Roman soldier guard who is converted because of Christianity and how Christ affected him. An angel actually appears to him in the book of Acts and he can, um, tells him the sins are forgiven. Or something. But I, I just really admire this story. It shows Ananias and Sapphira um, how they were cursed because they didn't give everything to the church. They held back some. And that's a story that a lot of people don't know, and I just think it's so cool because I heard it when I was in seminary, and um, I just always thought it was an intriguing story because it's I just like stories that you don't hear very often. Anyway, so we have the Bible series, we have Son of God, and we have 80 The Bible Continues. I would very, very much encourage people to go out and at least try them. Um, it will change your life. It has really impacted me a lot. It's brought me closer to the Savior than most media has. And it has made me feel a, a deep love for Christ and for what he's done for the world. And I have a strong testimony that he is the Savior. I know that he is the one that we need to come to, to have peace in this life and peace in the life to come. And I'm so very grateful for the scriptures. I, I would never put these above scripture. I just feel like these enhance scripture. And I do enjoy reading the Bible daily. And I am a big fan of the New Testament, and I really try to get into the Old Testament as often as I can. But I just wanted to get that out and let people know about it if they've never heard of it. Um, Roman Downey is the person that brings the passion to the project, and Mark, she says, is the person that brings the hammer. <laughs> He's the producer of The Voice, Survivor, Shark Tank, and The Apprentice. So he has a lot of experience with how to make things well-quality TV program. He knows how to work with that. And then Roma Downey is an actress. She's been on Touched by an Angel for 10 years with Della Reese and John Dye. I love those two. And so she knows the passion and she understands um, the hard work and the acting experience of everything. And um, just as a quick closing, I just wanted to share a special experience. They experienced miracles on set. One for AD was, it was a clear blue sky. And I guess, I don't remember if they were getting discouraged or whatever, but basically a cross just appears in the sky 
just a perfect form, like a perfect cross, just in the middle of a blue sky. And um, what happens is everyone starts getting out their phones and they start taking pictures because it's miraculous how this cross just comes out of nowhere. And so basically that's one little uh, miracle that happened. There's other ones like one guy during the Bible series, um, the one that came out in 2013. When Christ is sitting down with um, Nicodemus, and that's in John chapter 3, I believe. And this is when he's talking to Christ about how can you be born again. And Christ says, you must be born again, but not of the flesh, but of the spirit. And so he says, as the wind goes, so does the spirit. It goes where it wishes. And so they didn't have the fans turned on or anything, but it was almost like the fans turned on when he was speaking. And right at that moment when he's talking about the spirit being like the wind, the wind just picks up and he just is like, whoa. And it just, you just get caught off a little. And there's been miracle after miracle that just shows that God was leading Mark and Roma during this journey for the Bible series. I know that people can be inspired that if they have a heart that wants to glorify God, that if they want to do things um, that inspire the world and make it better, if they want to do His work, that the Lord does lead people and He does help them and assist them in their desires to do what's right. And I believe that's any religion. It doesn't have to be one specific religion. Um, I am personally LDS, but I believe very strongly that other religions have just as much power and influence as the LDS Church does in spreading the Word of God. And I really, really personally believe that this media is number one in my opinion, is number one. Out of all the media I've ever seen of any um, production or anything, it's better, in my opinion, than Passion of the Christ. It's better than a lot of the church films that I've grown up watching. I feel like Son of God, the Bible series, and AD The Bible Continues is really uh, a piece of work that is so fantastic that it's just done in a way that you've never seen before. And I just want to just share this with people, get them to be excited about it too. And um, I'm just very grateful. And I know that Roma Downey is someone that I will always admire and look up to. She actually stepped in and played the role of Mary in the Bible series. But someone in the interview um, asked her, so when you became an actress, like how did you, you seem to do all these biblical themes like Touched by an Angel, Mary, the Mother of Christ, and you're doing the Bible series and Son of God. So what led you to this point? And she said, when I became an actress and I decided which roles I wanted to take on and things like that, I used to look at a script and ask myself, would my own father want to see this? Would my parents be pleased with this? And then she said, by extension, I would ask, would my Heavenly Father want to see this? Would my Heavenly Father be proud? Would this be something that would be honoring to Him? And so this would be something that she would ask herself when she was stepping into roles. And I feel like it's unique because no one does that nowadays. No one cares about what God thinks. No one cares about what is honoring to their own parents. And I think that's sad, but I think it's amazing how while the world is going one direction, and I think that while everything's progressively getting worse with media and music and television and movies, I feel like it's awesome how these are coming out. These are coming out in the midst of all of that. And it just shows that God is trying to redirect his children. He wants them to come back to his path. He wants his children to be happy. He wants to bring them home safely. And I know that he loves every single person and that we're all children of God. We all need the Bible. We all need God, whether we admit it or not. And I just wanted to share my testimony that I know that Mark and Roma were led by the Holy Ghost to do the work of God. And I know that this has impacted my life so much. And I just want to share it with everyone else and encourage them to give it a try. Give it a try. Don't be critical when you watch it. Of course, there's going to be imperfections. Maybe not everything is as accurate as possible, but you have to remember that they had 10 hours to shoot this series and to go from Genesis to Revelation. And to make it on TV, you have to take some liber liberties here and there. Um, maybe the ages aren't exactly correct. Maybe the races aren't correct. Um, maybe the clothes aren't correct. Um, especially they don't use thee, thy, thou, and words like that. But they want to be able to reach out to all ages, including um, youth. So they want to be able to do it in a way that would be engaging. And I just want to leave and say that I'm very appreciative of this, if I haven't even said it enough. But um, I want to live like Roma Downey. I want to be a light 
I want to be someone that produces goodness to the world and contributes. I want to be able to say when I'm dead um, that I've done my best, that I've at least contributed something worthwhile, even if it's just to my own future children or my spouse. I want to do something good in the world, and I will forever be grateful for Roma Downey and what she's done for me. She's really touched my heart through her revelation scenes and Touched by an Angel is Monica. She's done an amazing job, and I'll always be grateful for her. God putting me on earth at this specific time so I could be touched by this media. And I do say this um, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.